so annotating is basically taking notes on whatever passage you're reading. Um, and that can prevent the feeling of like you're reading and reading and then you get to the bottom of a page and you don't really know what you just read. So annotating keeps you engaged with the text um, so that you can have some deeper understanding of it. So to start off with, we have a little chant um, with some motions to help you understand what annotating is and hopefully help you remember it um, when you're trying to annotate a text. So I'll take you through it one time on my own and then we'll all go through it together. So it goes, make connections, write down questions, use a symbol, circle words you don't know, that's a signal. Read the passage again two, three more times, annotating gets the big ideas in your mind. So the first part is make connection and then write down, oh, write down questions, which is a little question mark um, and use a symbol. So I like to do a wiggle. You guys can do like an explosion, whatever symbol you want. Um, and then circle words you don't know. So we're gonna do a circle and then like, I don't know, a little shrug um, and that's a signal. So point forward, that's a signal. Um, and then read the passage again, two, three more times, two, three and annotating gets the big ideas in your mind. So you're gonna to point to your head. And if you guys wanna all put your microphones on and we're gonna sing the chant just one time together. Is everybody ready? Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Make connections, write down questions, down questions. use a symbol, symbol. circle words you don't know. know. That's you don't know. know. That's a Read the passage again, two, three, four times. times. Annotating the big ideas in your mind. Woo, <laughs> good job everybody. Thank you for participating. So we learned this chant and it's probably gonna be stuck in your heads all day. Hopefully that's the point. Um, but what are we talking about in the chant? Like what does annotating and close reading really look like when we apply it to a text that we're reading? Well, I'm so glad that you asked because I wanna hear what you guys think um, when you hear the words annotate and close reading. So if you want to log into the Menti um, that I sent you the links to, that would be great. And we'll just collect some of our ideas. All right, perfect. So if you guys just wanna type into the Menti anything that comes to mind when you hear the words annotation and close reading. Attention, good. So we're paying attention to whatever we're reading distill, condense, that's good. A lot of um, annotation can be summarizing. So you can write down a summary on the side of what you've just wrote. We have a lot of stuff, good job. Um, symbols, yeah, so we can use whatever symbols we want. Highlight, that's good. Using a highlighter can be helpful. Um, underline, also good. And remember, I really like that one. Um, just to help you remember what you're reading, studying is also good. Perfect. Good job, guys. Yeah, so those were all great ideas. Um, and close reading can mean a lot of things. It's basically when we engage with a text on a deeper level um, by writing down whatever we think is important enough to write down, basically. Um, so that could be a lot of things. That could be writing down any questions that come up while you're reading, um, any vocab words that you might not recognize or understand, looking up the definitions or using context clues to understand those more thoroughly. Um, it could be writing a short summary of what you read in a section. So I think somebody on the mentee said distilling. So you can uh, summarize what you read in a section. Um, it could mean making connections with other things that you've read, a TV show that you've watched, um, or your own life experiences. Um, or it could be writing down how a passage or even a word makes you feel when you're reading. Um, basically annotating and close reading or anything that you think is noteworthy, that you think is important enough to write a note about, then you write a note about that. So finally, annotating is personal. Um, and in our chant, we said, make connections, write down questions and use a symbol, right? And in the end, Natalie's annotation is gonna look different from James's annotation. And that's the point of annotating, it's personal and it should reflect how you're engaging with the text. So when we annotate, um, we can get a look at a piece of writing from our own point of view and you can bring to it your own special background and your own special thoughts and opinions about what you're reading. So hopefully we've got a basic idea now of what annotation is. Does anybody have any questions or wanna make any points? 